Um, I'm Barbara. And I'm Louis. Andrade, and we are the Blue Monarch. Um, I chose the name. My husband allowed me to do that, mm -hmm. and and of so course, about her as a female. <laughs> I dubbed the bus a woman. So this is the Blue Monarch uh, because I love butterflies, but also I wanted it to have a significance, and we transformed an old yellow school bus into this beautiful blue monarch home and monarchs migrate and we are going to be migrating around the country as well so it represents new beginnings transformations and um and it's very dear to our heart it was a great fun project to work mm. on um, a little challenging yeah. at times frustrating at times yeah. but we loved doing it and it's kind of bittersweet when you get to the end. It's like, oh, no more thrift shopping, uh, but yay, we can move in. Mm -hmm. So he recently retired, and now we are at the beginning of our journey around to visit family and friends mm -hmm. and see the sights that this beautiful country has to offer people. And we're just really thankful for, for having this new little house. How big is your bus? Our bus is about 23 feet long and about 110 square feet of living space. All right. Yeah. Um, and how come you decided to live in a bus? Well, it's always been what my dream, dream to uh, convert a vehicle. Even before tiny houses were popular, I came across a book called Rolling Homes, and it had all kinds of different vehicles, trucks and you know, pickup trucks and cargo vans that people converted into campers. And this was like in the early 70s. And, uh, and they would go camping in them. This is, you know, they weren't living in them full time. But I always kept that book. And my dream was to one day do something like that and just travel around the country and see the sights. And, you know, being young and naive, I thought I could do that in a month, but, um, I found out that I was very wrong and then I kind of forgot and once in a while I'd pull the book out and you know show people and and uh, it wasn't until my uh, older sister said she was going to be retiring and wanted to build a tiny home then I, we started watching tiny home shows on YouTube and uh, got into the schoolies uh, considering things and when I first showed my husband the book you know he kind of you know, oh yeah, that's good. And but it was only after he started watching all those shows that he got real enthusiastic and he caught the fever. Um, mm, so, fever. Uh, so then <laughs> um, we decided that you know we wanted something we could drive. We didn't want to have to pull anything. And after doing some research, um, school buses are safer than RVs because they don't crumple in an accident. Right. They have a steel frame and it was unique and we could make it our own. So uh, it, it was just a creative challenge, I think, too, that got us wanting to do this. And we found our bus very, very quickly on Facebook Marketplace. We were really blessed, no mechanical troubles with it whatsoever. It's a 2006 Ford Econoline and a Cummins engine, diesel. Um, and we get 12 miles to a gallon. So that's we, really good. We have been very happy with it. Um, we started living in it full time just a month ago. Yeah, not not okay. quite. Congratulations. Uh, yeah. Thank you. Um, let me know when you want to jump in here. No, honey. You're, doing fine. <laughs> you're doing a lot of talking. You're doing great. <laughs> uh, but we actually finished the build uh, a little over a year ago in September, and participated in our first tiny house festival um, at the Big Mass with United Tiny House and Miranda's Hearth that year combined together. And uh, we literally left the driveway for that festival 15 minutes after painting the bumper. We were on our way. And uh, it was a great experience. So this is our fourth tiny house we've participated in. Um, so do you want to talk about the build at all? What you first did an hour after we got home in the driveway? What, 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 yeah, when soon I got home, the first thing I did is we went on it, stop taking the seats off. And yeah, actually, it's pretty hard taking the seats out because it's not the big screws in it, so you have to cut them. So yeah, that's about two days I had all the seats out. Then without building, I just have to take the seats out, then you have to strip everything because if you don't, you have a problem. You can't see where it is. You have to, a lot of school buses, what they do is just throw water in and just push the water out to wash it off. But 
but you have to take everything out so make sure that nothing is corroded underneath there and nothing is rotten before you even started anything. So. Because it's all steel. Right. You got to make sure everything's solid before you start putting wood in. Because when you put the wood in there, then you got a hole, you got a problem. Now you got to start all over again. That's the first, the first thing you got to do is actually strip everything out, go right to the bare metal. Make, make sure there's no the, rust or no mold rust, in the no insulation. Mold, no nothing on it, and then start to insulate it and then stop building it. So it actually uh, took a five months for everybody we usually take about a year but when I got on it that was it we, get, we went on it we went on it Superman when, yeah, when, it was, when he is on a project he is like yeah. full force <laughs> yeah, so it's pretty much so we went back he picked up a lot of stuff from uh, uh, what did we pick up a lot of so stuff from, from thrift stores we thrift did stores. a lot of repurposing wherever we could um, even the walls for the bathroom they were shelves that going were going to be thrown into a dumpster when my um, my boss's office was being moved to another building so I said can we have these and this is even before we knew we were buying a bus this mm. was a couple of years beforehand and I said you know don't throw that beautiful wood away my husband will find something to do with it <laughs> two years later we have yeah. a bus and we build our walls build we, wall, we built our, our upper cabinets with that wood yep. so um, so my my former job is trying kind of traveling with us mm. And so a lot of the, the lower cabinetry is all uh, $10 dressers, $10 toy box, uh, former tables that was given to us. We have white oak flooring that was left over from a contractor's job, so we got that at a ridiculously reduced rate. Yeah, the birch door. Uh, the countertop, it was a solid birch door that my husband found in a dumpster. So he sanded it down, cut it to measure, and we put epoxy on it. The, the sink is my favorite part of the bus. I was looking for something unique, and I found this in a thrift store for $20. It is a metal bowl. It was already painted with the enamel paint, and my husband just drilled a hole and put a drain in it, and I was very thrilled. And the epoxy helped to hold that down to the counter. Um, the bathroom sink is also a former bowl that I got at a thrift store. We do have a composting toilet in the bathroom, along with the sink that I insisted on having, and we have a handheld shower. There's a gray tank underneath the bus that catches the water for the shower. And those curtains go all the way around when they're not folded back. And I use magnets to keep them inside the tub during the shower so water doesn't get all over. It's pretty sweet. And that's also the little bit of closet that we have. We just have pegs that we hang things on and we remove those when we take a shower. And a plug for Planet Fitness. We have membership there, so we can take showers all over the country if we want a long, hot shower instead of the military one. Yep. Oh. Look at the butterflies. I love the windows. Those were custom made by a friend of ours, uh, the Palladium. We just gave him a sketch and the measurements of what we wanted. And then my husband figured out how to insert them. Sweet. And that is a stained glass butterfly with metal. My sister gave that to me. Awesome. When you got family, you gotta do family with it. <laughs> Keep it simple. that this seat turns it turns all the way completely around that's nice